Good morning, folks. We're going to be talking about star crusts and revisit the magnetar effect. The big science news of the last day was the discovery of Earth's ambipolar electric field. We are also checking out a bit of space weather, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Left side is where all the fun is. Several CMEs erupted, not aimed at Earth, all aimed towards Venus. We still have sunspots and plasma filaments to monitor, but so far solar flares and Earth-directed CMEs are absent. We'll keep watching. Moving next to strange stars with crusts. This is not a new idea, but it's one that has deserved much more coverage than it's gotten the last decade. Here they discuss magnetars and similar magnetic stars which display characteristics of having a crust, almost like a giant planet that got juiced up. This brings us back to the magnetar discharge from L-shell fields arcing downward and cracking the crust. Veteran observers have spent considerable time pondering if such an event can affect geological formations on Earth, Mars, and other bodies. Top story is the global electric field. This is the interface region between the global electric circuit in the atmosphere and ionosphere and the charged environment of space in the solar wind. Particles flow into the Earth system via the solar wind. The top of the global electric circuit in the ionosphere bleeds upward much further than has been previously discovered. This creates the electric field extending into near-Earth space and helping with the particle release from the upper atmosphere. The inflow and outflow of material are real. This extension of the global electric field also makes it about a thousand times easier for solar wind and geomagnetic activity to impact the electromagnetic dynamics that end up trickling down through the atmosphere to affect clouds, water droplets, temperature pressure, wind, and precipitation. Folks, tomorrow the end of the month special issue of Observer Review will come out. It is a focused piece on solar forcing of weather and climate basically a book chapter of key solar atmospheric effects discovered in the last year. Sign up for the e-magazine at the link below. It is the best way to stay up to date each month and the best way to support the observers. And also, folks, tomorrow the grand opening events of Observer Ranch begin. Excited to see so many of you and eager to see many more in the months ahead. Reservations and information at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.